Hey everybody, this is Mr. O'Rourke here. Um, wanted to give you some tips on how to use Google Classroom, uh, especially in my class, show you the way it's set up, where you can find things. Um, I'll also, in this video, give you a quick little tutorial on um, where my website is and my YouTube page and a few things like that, just because I've got those links in there. Um, I will create another video that will show you some basics on actually using Google Classroom to turn in assignments and stuff like that because I want to go through that also but uh, I don't want to make the video too long so let's jump right into it okay so the work we're going to do in this we're going to uh, the first thing you got to do if you want to get into Google Classroom is open a Google page and I know that a lot of you will jump right in and search Google Classroom well that's the long way to get there I'm going to show you the easy way you're going to use the waffle um, in Google to find Google Classroom then find your class and then we'll go over how to actually navigate my Google Classroom so I've got a page opened up here already um, and the waffle is this little thing up here on the top you see it looks like a waffle there's nine dots you click that down and search until you find Google Classroom you'll notice that every other Google function uh, as you look at this that is available to you through our school G Suite is there also Google Meet is up here um, Gmail which we're configuring to YouTube um, your calendar will be there Docs, Sheets, Slides uh, Google Drive is here Google Keep, Jamboard we're going to be using okay so there's all sorts of things available to you right there without having to search all over Google for them so let's open up Google Classroom um, and I have a little demo class created here um, so you can see the student view on this so I'm going to go ahead and open that up um, and you'll see that up on the top of this page there are three parts there is the stream there is the classwork page and then there is the people that is you and all the people in the course and me it's a great way you open this up you can actually click on things and email people and contact through that if you needed to the stream page will for my classes at least I do not post assignments in the stream I find that becomes very confusing for you guys um, and you don't always do the assignments in the order that they're there this is going to operate more like your social media um, stream or like a Facebook or something like that the most recent posts will come up first um, and they will go in order as they come up I will post announcements in here uh, the occasional link to something um, especially if I post a video that I want you to watch I will put that up there um, or maybe a reminder about turning something in or something to that effect the most important page is your classwork page okay um, and this has several parts to it and there's a whole lot of links you can get here for this also okay um, up on the top this is where the class materials this is the permanent part of the class where you might go to get class specific information or something like that up here in most classes I have posted the course outline a link to my YouTube channel and a link to my website I'll come back to these um, either in a little later or in another video um, depending on how much time this one takes okay um, some of the other classes um, I know in the AP class I have a few more things added in here um, each class will be some specific to that subject um, information here uh, but you can guarantee that you're going to see these here okay um, assignments are going to be posted by week so I have up here some dummy assignments for the first week of school uh, some of these will actually be the assignments we're going to be using um, but to just get you there okay so you open up the assignment okay it says view assignment so that's what we're going to do and this gives you the whole situation here notice that this is labeled assignment one if we go back to the classwork pages all assignments I have labeled them by number that is the order you're supposed to do them in I do not care if you do not if you think assignment number one is too long so you're going to skip to number two because it's easier um, you will just get a zero for assignment number one plus it will be very difficult to do assignment number two because assignment number one needs to be done first so make sure you do them in order okay and make sure you're working in the week that is available there because as we go on there'll be new weeks populating all the time um, 
And it will remain that way for as long as we're on either the hybrid or the virtual program. If we ever get back to regular five-day-a-week school, then I will convert it to doing it by unit. Um, and, but the same format will be in place where the assignments are posted by uh, numbers. And it will usually say something like, these say just say assignment number one. When we start moving into content, it might say French Revolution assignment number one, so that you know what unit we're working in. Okay, so let's go back to getting ready for class. In here, um, I have simply just set up um, some getting started videos for some of the things we're going to do in class. Um, you know, I've got one here, the how to check your assignments. I'm gonna, I have to redo that one because Google has changed some things over the summer. There's a tutorial here on how to do Flipgrid. Okay, when you go through that, you would, and you watch both of those, um, there will usually be some sort of uh, assignment attached to that. I'll put a Google form or something in here that you've got to do uh, based on that, and you will need to have a hundred on it, and you'll need to keep doing it till you get a hundred. Um, and when you're all done, you'll mark that as done. You click done here and then it will take you back to the main screen okay um, and I'll get into a little bit more of that when my next video on turning in assignments so that is what I wanted to go over on this part of the thing with actually how the assignments are set up um, just to show you um, my website here so we're going to click on that. That will take us over to my website. Um, you'll see I have, I have this is in the new format of Google Slides. Um, you've got a home page here with a link to my YouTube channel and also to my Twitter handle. Um, I'm not on Twitter as much as I used to be. Then you have um, links to the separate pages by class. And you also have a link to how-to videos. That is where this video will be housed. So if you need to go back and figure things out later. Um, you can go there. So uh, that's just kind of a brief overview of how to use my Google Classroom. Remember, assignments are numbered in order. You need to do them in the order they are they are numbered in. Um, worry about and also by the due dates. When you click these open, it will immediately give you the due date. Um, the other thing here, and I'm just going to do that to show it off. If we click this as done, okay, it's going to say Mark is done. And then we go back to the main page. You'll now see that the assignment is in grayscale. That means you did it, okay? And you don't have to go back in and try to do it again. All right, so that's what I'm going to co cover for now. I'm going to get into how to handle assignments in another video in a little bit more detail. Thanks for watching.